Alright, so the next class that we're going to be discussing is the Warlock class, and the first card we're going to be talking about is uh, Karakazam, or what I like to call Muster for Disney. So it's, what it does is a 5 mana spell, and it summons a 1-1 candle, a 2-2 broom, and a 3-3 teapot, and these are all just placeholder names. They're actually just vanilla minions. So yeah. basically, the first card that this reminds you of is Silver Hand Knight, which is like the most overused comparison that everyone's been using. Well, and true, and true. the difference between this and Silver Hand Knight is that this is a spell. And, yeah. and you have a 3 3 and a 1 1 body yeah. over a 4 4. Yeah, and that flexibility might actually make it better than Silver Hand Knight. I'm not sure if it does. In most cases, with if, in the card, in the archetype that you're most likely to play this in, which is Reno Lock, mm -hmm. um, the flexibility probably matters more than having a 4 4 than a 3 3 and a 1 1. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So uh, I would say that the main thing, like the main thing that this card has going for it, is that it synergizes with Chogol. What are your thoughts on that? Ooh, that's interesting. Chogol. It's pretty good. Yeah, seven pretty mana, good. and then you pay. You play this card. Take yeah. five damage. Get the minions. Yeah, it's like a new Doctor three, Boom. Three, two, two, and a one, one. That's pretty good. When Chogol first came out, people were like, "Wow, this is such. A, this is actually a pretty good card." They yeah. released it when they didn't announce the Molten Giant nerf. Yeah. So yeah, therefore, yeah, it was that, an that amazing. Card. And there's like another, yeah. like there's another, um, there's another like sy like synergistic aspect of it in the sense of in in, like, in the form of the Molten Giants, and then with this. It, uh, the, the the difference with uh, back then and now is that with the Molten Giants, Reno Lock or Hand Lock could get away with not playing that many spells and, mm -hmm. and Chogol still being good because you just hold on to it and do a gigantic swing turn with yeah. Molten Giants. You, since you can't do that anymore, you need to run a few more spells. This might be the spell that like tip like tips it over to the point where you actually want to play something like Chogol. Yeah. Yeah. For like for all intents and purposes, you want to run Chogol to like combo with Siphon Soul or like Shadow Flame, mm -hmm. but this just gives you an option for when you don't have those in your hand, yeah. and you can still make a proactive play, summon a 7-7, seven, seven, and then summon a 0 mana, or five, negative 5 health, which is a 2 relevant Marina lock, and you summon a 3, like 6-6 six, six with the stats, split up into 3 bodies. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I think this card isn't that bad. It's okay. Yeah, it's decent. It's not great. It's not yeah. great, but like, if you're playing yeah. it on turn 5, like it sort of contests the board, and the main thing with it is Chogol because it gives you some more mm -hmm. Chogol synergy. I yeah. also like how it's in, it's uh, it's a spell, so yeah. Yoxer can definitely give spells. you these cards. Yeah, I love spells. Oh, man. Cards, yeah, cards don't have to be amazing for you to run them in decks because they just serve specific purposes that, or like they fill weaknesses or synergies yeah. that your deck is lacking. Yeah, it definitely. And this them this yeah. like like screams out to me as one of those cards. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yep. So I I'd rate this card as like it's it's pretty playable in the current. The current meta, especially with Choco, mm -hmm. but I don't think it would see that much play. That much play. Yeah. It's just it's okay. Oh, we'll see. It's a great. It's good. I still it's think it's not good enough that Choco can actually make an appearance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because right now nobody's running Choco. Choco Siphon Soul is so good though. Y yeah, I know, but it's yeah, yeah. like. And this makes it so that you can play Choco for when you don't get Choco Siphon Soul. True, true, yeah. but it's just that the meta is so aggressive. Is when you play Choco and you and you suddenly, lose five yeah, life. You lose five yeah. life. That that hurts, man. That yeah. hurts. Well, he, yeah. You can always just play without choke all five <laughs> mana. Get all these minions. Why not? Yeah, yeah, not yeah I'd rather play it as a five mana card than Silverhand Knight. Y y yeah. yeah, yeah, than Silverhand Knight because you still have that one one for flexibility. Like I use abuse of sergeant on it if I do do run. I said this would be a pretty good mage spell actually. It is a good mage it spell. Would, it, would, it would fuel y'all or, or y'all. But, but, but that'd be yeah. pretty strong because it's a good kind of temple mid like temple card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's why you're wondering why people don't run Silverhand Knight. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. I eh, okay. And and Cracksmith thinks it's terrible like all the other. I don't guys. think it's terrible. It's okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. So moving on to the next card, uh, we have Malakazar's game, which is actually one Malakazar. Oh. Ma Malchazar Mal or Malkazar. Oh. I don't know the two pronunciations. Mal I, I think it's a hard C H. I think it's Malkazar. Malkazar. It's Malkazar. For sure. Malkazar. Because they pronounced it in yeah, the yeah, prologue. Yeah, 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 I, I, okay. I played it like okay. a week ago, so I forgot. Yeah. Is it? Oh, I had my audio like turned turned off. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I like Malchazar better. It sounds. Let's yeah. just go by Malkazar. Aesthetically Malkazar. speaking, no, no. <laughs> I think aesthetically, aesthetically speaking, no. Malkazar is no. also better. No, no, you, you're making it, it sound too, like cheese, man. It sounds too so much like Malkarok. We might as well call him Malkarok. Fuck this guy. Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> on to Malkazar's imp. Yeah. Uh, whenever you discard a card, draw a card. It's a one mana, one three minion. It's this, a demon. It's a demon. And it's a demon. Ooh. It has so many things going for it. The problem is, Sense is this going to make this card decks viable? I'll tell you this right now. I've been playing uh, Discard Warlocks since it came out. Damn, it's crazy. Crazy? As in, like, it, it, it demolishes decks? It does. The tempo swings are too strong. The tempo swings are amazing, but it's that... It's dependent, yeah. though. It requires, yeah, it's, it's polarizing. So yeah, it's, it is. It is polarizing, but 
I don't know. I'm probably getting really lucky. Because I've always had always 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 silverware gold yeah, or the Twisted Directors. And I'm just, yeah. just demolishing. You know yeah. you know how strong those turns are. When you discard specifically the right cards at the right time, then it's absolutely yeah. ridiculous. Yeah. And, and, and this also, also draws the, right the cards back. Too. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like it's like it's like basically you're paying you're playing a zero mana three three that negates the draw the, the discard effect and draws you a card. That's absolutely. ridiculous. And you know the cards that discard cards, they're undercosted. That's, that's why you discard card. And yeah, yeah and that, that's absolutely yeah. absurd. But the problem is, of course, it requires you to discard the right card. Yeah. yeah. And then that's but just inherently going to be random because you can't control it. That being said, you can cater the deck to um, maximize just dumping your hand and discarding cards, specific ones. I have it, like I said, I haven't experimented with this card, so I wouldn't know. I know, I know that uh, the results are going to be polarizing. So mm -hmm. you're gonna have to play a lot of games to like try to get a relevant sample size. So you can yes. Get see how often you get super lucky, and if that uh, like number of times of getting super lucky is worth it for you to be running a discard deck over the like classic zoo deck, which is just tried and true and is just not that bad. Mm -hmm. The discard deck is less board centric than the zoo deck and more. No, it just relies on like gigantic board swings right off the bat. Yeah, right off the bat with this card. Yeah. That being said, Malkazar's Imp. It's. I wouldn't say it's great. I'd say it's it's all right. It's decent. Does it have a place in that deck though? Is drawing a card going to be that relevant when what you're tr like aiming it, to do is it, to make your card like hand empty so you can hit the right cards with your discard? It kind of is, I, although I can't say absolute certainty. But um, you know, Dark Shire Librarian, the one that discards a yeah, card yeah. when you play it, yeah. but you, you draw a card when it dies. So it draws two cards now. Yes. Yeah. It's fantastic. And also, when he discards it, a card, it immediately plays the silver wear goal. Exactly, it, it, it triggers it, that. Or face the Draxus. Yeah, now that I think about it, that's actually that's so ridiculous. Yeah, and it's yeah. especially insane with Doom Guard. Yeah, the yeah. The, 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 yeah. Pro the problem is like that all the effects are random. So your and your it's, your start is going to be totally dependent on whether or not you discard the right. It's card. random in the beginning. Once yeah. you've dumped your hand, it's controlled. That is true. And then um, it becomes draw dependent. <laughs> Yeah. But with the Warlock Hero Power, yeah, it increases just, the chance of yeah. getting the right cards. You, you top so, deck everything. I'm going to say this is a good card. It's, it's definitely it, good. It, it, yeah, I would say it's a good card. The stats are pretty the good. Stats are good. It's definitely got a stick, too. Right? Yeah. 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 And it's a, yeah, it's a good stat line. And yeah. it's a demon, which yeah, I don't yeah, think is that relevant. Sense demons. <laughs> mm-hmm. Dude, dude, like, like, like after Standard came in, all the demons were gone. I was sad. Yeah. Uh -huh. They got rid of Void Collar. I know. The strongest demon. I know. <laughs> Then this is also a nerf to uh, Bane of Doom. Yeah, oh yeah, that's true. Yeah. Is it a nerf no, to Bane of Doom? Oh, what if you have Soul Fire from uh, Peddler? Yeah, I think it's better than like. <laughs> is it better than Succubus? As the body, obviously not. But like, the, uh, the I think I think overall it's better than Succubus. No, 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 no. It's not. If you have a discard effect in your deck, then it's better sure. Than yeah, yeah, sure. If you have the discard effect, sure, sure. Yeah. Sure, then, sure, otherwise, yeah. Succubus is better. Yeah. 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 Turn one, this turn two, succubus. Nerf Get the silver wiggle. Not like you're yeah. okay, okay, yeah, like yeah, yeah, playing yeah, insane. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, that snowball is kind of disgusting. Yeah, people yeah, aren't playing Band of Doom anyways. Like I said, yeah. yeah, if you play with the discard archetype, it's just crazy when it goes off. And it has to be yeah. aggressive. Yeah. Okay. I, I like this card, and it's also the effect is interesting. Will it make the game broken though? Will it make no, annoying it, ass? Uh, um, I'll make it more RNG. Yeah, it'll make it more. Yeah, it's more RNG. Oriented. Like, especially since there's no death rattle means right now. Yeah. Stuff like three mana three threes. Or zero mana three threes, <laughs> and and uh, four random damage. That four random damage will usually clear a minion. Oh yeah, and it'll clear that minion cleanly too. Yeah. So it's it's it'll yeah, fist it. It, it is pretty like that. <laughs> it is pretty crazy. Uh, All right, yeah, I like this card. So All right, let's take a look at this one. And on the last card, we were just oh, talking about this man. with the silverware golem, and this card is zero with the Mal Malkazarism. It's the zero mana three three that draws you a card. Now, how OP Plus, is that? you OP, played a card. OP. For Plus, less it negated the discard exactly effect. because the fact that you're the fact that you're replacing the discard effect with like if you discard this menu, you summon it. You're, it means that you're playing the overcosted card at no drawback, but at an upside. You mean undercosted? Yeah, the undercosted card. Uh, undercosted card. You're playing the Succubus, the two mana four three. The two mana four three, three to put a three three, three on onto the, the board, board and draw, and draw a, card, a card, which is or it does four random damage to a minion or a character, which exactly. is just ridiculous. So I. In that, if the discard warlock is good, this is obviously good. I haven't tried, I haven't experimented with the warlock card yet. I, I, I like this card. If I they print more yeah. cards like this, the, the discard deck would definitely take off. It's, mm -hmm. here's the thing. Once though. someone finds the optimal curve. It's fun when you're playing it, but imagine playing against it. <laughs> you're just like, please don't discard the yeah, golem. Yeah, please yeah, don't discard yeah. the fist. So it could be another frustrating uh, deck. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I'm not looking yeah. forward to this. Yeah. But it's an interesting card. It's interesting. There was it's nothing good. like this that's ever been released before. Yeah. Fist of Directors. 
Well, other than the Fist of Drexus, but then those two cards Fist are what... Fist of Drexus has been good. <laughs> Fist of Dr- it's, it's good yeah. now when, it, when, yeah, it's when the deck yeah, has yeah, been yeah. built yeah. to cater to Have it. you yeah. played the top two Tavern Brawl, like where you only run, you could run 15 copies of each card? I have run but it. Before the, oh, oh, I before I the, 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 the Mech Warper uh, Metal Tooth Leaper got popular, I was playing the Soul Fire Fist of Drexus. Yeah. And when you got Ooh. the right, when you discarded the right cards, it was so stupid. Because they, yeah. they would be at like eight, like four life on turn two. Yeah, if you did it with Darkshire Librarian, you would never run out of fuel. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty dumb. <laughs> and this just, this just gives me, yeah, this gives me PTSD from that. Alright. Yeah, I like this card. I like this card. Dude. Powerful card. And it's pretty Powerful great. Card. Yeah. Not even bad for a three drop. Three mana, three, three. Standard. Vanilla. Yeah. Kind of card that would lock you down. Like you play Doomguard, double silverware gold. <laughs> Oh. Yeah. Or I think I'll, you need I'll 8 damage with a face yeah, Plus exactly. the 5 I'll So that's, that's That's 13 That's yeah. crazy And draw 2 cards Why not <laughs> And draw 2 cards <laughs> yeah, yeah, Why not card. oh. And draw 2 cards yeah, well, of How War- can you beat that The eighth thing Ancient of War is good Why don't you just make it 5 mana yeah, Give no. it charge Give it I plus s- 2 health And make it summon 2 three threes And s- draw 2 I cards I swear to god This card Like this deck itself Is going to tilt me so hard on ladder Yeah I was like what is this Because the difference between Discarding the right card And discarding the wrong card Is Huge. Like yeah, it's, it's huge. absolutely massive. It's yeah. like the same thing as people were complaining about, like a lot of prominent pros, like like Rain Ad were complaining about things like Flame Juggler that affect the board that oh. early, based solely off of RNG. And this is exactly the same thing, except it's even more polarizing because it's not a, it's not one damage. It's a three three minion, yeah, and it also affects minion. whether or not you discard a card. Yeah. Because if you discard this, you play it. So I I I, 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 I would say this. The more the more I talk about it, the more like. Here's my prediction. More makes me vomit a little bit. Right. It's gonna be a great yeah. deck. Yeah. Right. yeah but it is. It is. It's Blizzard, gonna be frustrating. They're as gonna hell. stop printing these kinds of cards because, because it's yeah. gonna be so frustrating. Yeah. It's worse than do, Fiery Bat and Flame Juggler. Do you see do you see them printing a uh, shielded minibot? Minibot is arguably less like frustrating than this. But, no, because but, minibot but you know what you're dealing with. This is like 50-50 of him winning the game and losing the game. Yeah. Yeah. I agree with that. Not only did he have to draw this card, he had to discard it. The right card! They have to draw the... They have to draw the... They have to draw the right card! They have to draw the discard! They have to draw the right card for me to lose this game! It's so stupid. Oh dear. Well, so yeah, there's your Warlock cards. 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 Warlock cards.